Hello friends, in this video we will go through one of the in silico methodology or in silico tool which is used for prediction of HERG inhibition and uh, the name of the tool is PRED HERG 4.2. Now, first of all, we will see why this HERG inhibition is an important parameter in computational chemistry or in computer-aided drug design. HERG, that is human ether, a go-go related gene, it encodes the inward rectifying voltage gated potassium channel in the heart and it is involved in cortier repolarization, right? So, if there is inhibition of HERG, the current causing uh, the current causes QT interval prolongation and it results in potentially fatal ventricular tachyarrhythmia and many of the drugs they need to be withdrawn during the late stage clinical trial due to their cardiotoxic effects therefore early the uh, identification of the potential cardiotoxicity of any chemical moiety or the drug like compounds is going to identify the inhibitors early in the drug discovery. So, this tool PRED HERG 4.2 it is developed by LabMol and it is as per the OECD guidelines and it is one of the fastest prediction method. The disadvantage with this methodology is that we need to check uh, the cardiotoxicity for every compound one by one and it is available on this website. So now let's go through the software. For that purpose I will be taking an example of acetaminophen to see how to use the software. Yes, so this is the home page of uh, LabMol and under this web apps you can see for PRED HERG pop, uh, popular option is there so we have to click that and we will be reaching to this PRED HERG 4.2 application. If you will scroll down on this page you will see the various details regarding the program that uh, how the uh, methodology has been developed, how the app has been developed, what different guidelines are being followed. Yes, now here comes the application part of this program. So here in this window you can see that on the left side the instructions are given and on the right side we have to enter the molecule. Then below that then we are having this to know for predict HERG liability so, or uh, we can even draw the molecule or we can load a file and if we have to load a file of the molecule we need to have either mole file or SDF file. So first we will see that uh, how to draw a molecule so for that purpose we can use the tab which is given here and for example if we look for acetaminophen then uh, we can draw the molecule in this way yes, now we have to add the other atoms now our structure is ready now we have to press the button thread HERG liability and uh, the predicting procedure will start and uh, this is one of the fasted method it is going to take uh, hardly a minute to complete the calculations and we will be getting the results and in between if we have to have if we are having the smile notations available by just doing the right click we can enter the smiles we have to just copy paste here or we can use even the load file option so yes so our results are complete so see it has taken less than a minute period of time 
and uh, here we are going to get the results in the qualitative form those are very simple to predict we are going to get the potential uh, ability of the compound to be cardiotoxic or not that is given that it is non cardiotoxic then uh, the probability maps will be uh, given here which are going to help us to identify what are the structural features contributing towards this cardiotoxic effect or towards HERG inhibition. Similarly, it is going to help us identify some similar off-target compounds for the, for the compound which we have selected to study. Then if we have to interpret the model like the probability map, we can take help of the interpretation details which they have provided and uh, based on those areas which are either uh, the contour maps uh, based on their color notation we can identify the role of various uh, structural features towards HERG blockage. Then uh, for that if we are using the software we will be using these uh, two citations. So this is about this spread HERG software and uh, it is one of the simplest method to predict HERG toxicity. So thank you for watching the video.